Thank you, Doug. Well, feel like you've been sneezing a lot lately. Yeah, well, you're not alone. Warmer weather could lead to an unwelcome start to the spring allergy season with some flowers already starting to grow. Is there increased concern that the pollen counts could turn severe this spring? Meteorologist Dante Ricky has that answer tonight for us. We are constantly reminded this time of the year of warmer weather, but what can happen is those colder spells in between still indicate winter. But with more warmer days here, we start to see that yellow sticky stuff coating our vehicles outside and even the ground. That's called pollen and it can be easily released by plants as the weather gets warm in the springtime. Let's look into my backyard. You can see that there are several things that are sources or producers of pollen in addition to flowering plants the grass. Certain kinds of grass start to grow earlier into the spring season, as well as ragweed and even mold spores. Pollen can come into your home if you don't keep things clean. It's always a good idea to also keep the air well circulated. But what's the real big source of pollen? The big problem happens to be the trees outside. The trees, some of them have already started to show the leaves. Others have to wait for some even warmer weather. And that can be slowed down by these cold spells of air out of Canada, leading to frosty conditions outside, delaying the start of spring. That also provides some allergy relief to us. But let's be real, there's more sunny and warm days ahead of us here as we head closer into the month of March. Eventually, the buds will burst and those trees will produce those leaves as well as release the pollen. And when that wind starts to blow very strong outside, that causes the pollen to spread and leads to a lot of sneezing and allergies there as as well. At this point in time, the strongest allergy levels where the highest pollen counts are, are in the southern part of the country. But if we get some warmer weather here, even up into the northern parts of the country, that could allow these brighter colors and higher pollen counts to make their way northward as well, even into the month of March. So warm weather may be welcome, but it probably will not be good for your allergy symptoms into the next few weeks. I'm meteorologist Dante Ricky.